So France and Germany are going into new lockdowns and the US has just announced some very good GDP growth. Now, what does that tell us? That's gonna be the topic of today's video. Now the US has announced over 30% GDP growth for the quarter. However, that is still uh, below how far it fell in the last quarter. But nevertheless, the US economy is only about 3.4% smaller than it was at the start of the pandemic. That's a pretty uh, good recovery. It's not a full recovery, uh, but pretty much it's recovered most of the ground. And I think that shows that growth will come back and indeed it has came back in the uk and many other countries so even if there is a second lockdown in europe growth will eventually come back the issue will be some of the long-term issues like some of the debt to gdp ratios those kind of things will have to be addressed in two or three four years once there's full recovery but the point is this is a very unusual situation regardless whether you agree with the lockdown or not uh, that you have a hard stop in terms of economic activity, but then once you regain or, or, or go out of lockdown, pretty much 90 to 95% of that GDP can be brought back relatively quickly. Now, what's going to be interesting is, will the US go into a second lockdown ever again? And for that matter, will they be affected by second lockdowns in Europe? But the point is, um, a lot of people, they always think, oh, this time is different, not just in markets, but in the economy. A lot of people thought, well, it, it could be like a Great Depression, but it's becoming very clear that it's not probably anyway going to come to that kind of situation. What's going to be a much wider question is going to be things like all the debts that are accumulating. I do think we're going to have some defaults. We've already seen this week that the first African country uh, has defaulted. And I'm sure there will be many other emerging markets that might default because of the coronavirus. So you are going to have long running effects for maybe 10 or 15 years in terms of the deaths of some countries, especially emerging market countries. But in terms of GDP uh, growth, I think that um, people will be surprised. There will be at least a few countries, I think that will have positive GDP growth for 2020. And then 2021, there'll be another group of countries that uh, recover. 2022, uh, there'll be more. Same with the economic crisis of 2008. Some countries recover very quickly, some slow. It was only a few countries like Greece and one or two others that basically took 10 years or never recovered. So I do expect the same thing this time. And some of the long running effects from 2008, we might see the same thing this time, but just in a different way. Now, France and Germany are locking down and it'd be very interesting to see if the UK follows suit. But what I would say to people is, you can never control these things. And being unduly pessimistic never really works in investing or life. By the same token, you've got to be realistic about what's happening. You know, people will lose their jobs. Uh, there will be tough economic times, but I do expect the growth will return to pretty much all the major uh, economies, even if there is a second or third lockdown. I think the bigger issue is just going to be actually the long running uh, debates that are going to come from this. Once growth came back in most of the major economies, there might well have to be kind of political conversations about debt forgiveness, especially for some emerging countries. And that's going to be a big issue probably in two or three years time. Obviously for now, we're right in the middle of this, uh, certainly in Europe. Uh, but what will also be interesting will be to see what happens in the United States. Um, you know, will the fourth quarter uh, also be very strong when it comes to growth in the first quarter next year and, and the whole economy is fully recovered? Uh, from the virus as opposed to just almost fully recovered. But it's very unexpected. If you would have told people in March or April that US unemployment and US growth would have been this strong by now, people would have probably laughed. And that once again shows, don't try to predict the future. If during the worst of times in March and April, uh, I would have made a video and I would have said US stock markets would hit record highs again in a few months. Uh, the US economy would only be 3.4% weaker uh, in November. Uh, compared to where it was before the pandemic and US unemployment will, will be below 10%. People would have probably laughed and said it was too optimistic. Uh, likewise, last year, nobody expected us to be in this situation. So never try to predict these things. Never assume also that the markets and the economy work in tandem. Just because the US uh, growth rate has been excellent, it doesn't mean the stock market is going to do well. And likewise, just because uh, Europe's going into a second lockdown, that doesn't automatically mean the stock market is going to do badly in those regions. The stock market is not the economy and vice versa, and you should never forget that.